Hi, Dr. Ernst. Thanks for joining me today. Hi, Lily. It's really great to be here. So this time can be very intense for many students. What should we keep in mind for our health and well-being? This can be a stressful time for many students, and in fact, many may feel overwhelmed. That's natural and normal. I think it's helpful for each of us to remember that while the world around us may feel very heavy, there are oftentimes things for each of us individually that can help lower that stress. For some, that may be movement and exercise. For others, it might mean music. And still, it might just be great just to take a few minutes and be outside. It's hard, but I'd suggest we try to find a few minutes each day to do some of those things. It's also super helpful to remember that we're here for you and that the university offers a lot of resources to help students. So I do know that you can receive counseling at the Michigan Union, but what other resources are out there? I think the counseling resources at the fourth floor of the Union are great, and we've worked really hard to make those services easily accessible for students. But it's helpful to remember that each of the schools and colleges also have embedded counselors, and students often find that to be the first step for them if they're feeling like the stressors are more academic. Um, all of these resources are free for students. Really, that's so cool. Um, I think I've heard of UWill before, but it's relatively new. What is it? Well, I'm really glad that you've heard about it, and I hope all students are aware that they have uh, available to them six free counseling sessions through you will each academic year. This is uh, professional counseling that's available virtually. It's easy to register, and oftentimes initial visits are available same day or after hours. It's also a service that's available even when you're not in Ann Arbor. So if you're on a travel abroad program or just home for the weekend. This is a resource that's free and available to all students. That's awesome. How is this different from wellness coaching? I think I've heard of that before. Wellness coaching is a great resource that's available through Wolverine Wellness. The coaching is available by trained professionals and helps individual students explore some of their motivations and behaviors. It's not professional counseling, but it's a great first step for a lot of students. I'll also add that another non-clinical resource for students is peer-to-peer -peer networks, like the Wolverine Support Network that's sponsored through CAPS. So what if you or someone you know is going through a mental health emergency? I think that's really important. And the university has after-hours crisis lines for both mental health emergencies as well as medical problems. And we're really fortunate that the Michigan Medicine Emergency Department is readily available to many students, and they have a dedicated psychiatric emergency services as part of that program. Also, finally, I think we should all be aware of the National Mental Health Crisis Line, the 988 number. So where can someone go to see all these resources? All this information is available online and I would encourage all students and everyone in our community to regularly visit the Wellbeing Collective website. Thank you, Dr. Ernst, for joining us today. This was all very helpful information. Well, thank you. And as always, go, go Blue. Blue.